Hey guys, welcome to this week's show. First off, I got a couple of public service announcements. The first one, February 26th, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, mark it on your calendar. Blue Water Cruising is having another free online workshop for all of you guys who ever wanted to come out here and live this lifestyle, change your life, do something different. This is an opportunity to learn what it is all about. You know, sailing is 10% of the job out here. The other 90% is what we teach lifestyle logistics buying boats different things like that so remember mark it on your calendar february 26 6 p.m eastern standard time go to bluewatercruising.com backslash live workshop to check it out okay the reason you are here we're so excited we are inviting three to five young adults age 18 to 21 or 22 to come out and spend a month with us on the boat this summer and learn about boat life hang out with us for a month and just see what it's all about. How do you get on our boat? What do you have to do? First off, you gotta make a 60 second video and post it to Instagram. Hey y'all, my name is Sky, I'm from Oregon. Hi, I'm Mia, I'm from Estonia. I'm Adri. My name's Lauren. My name is Sean. My name is Mason. What's up, Stanley Satara? I'm Coleman Barzi, and here's a few things about me. Basically, you're just gonna tell us about yourself and why we should choose you to come out onto our boat for a month or however long we do it. Four or five weeks. Yeah. Why you deserve the spot on the boat. 60 seconds to your Instagram, make sure you tag Sailing Zatara. So when we go to that tag, we can see your video. And you gotta be able to try new things, and you gotta love the ocean, be able to, you know, swim. Obviously, you gotta be able to swim. And you gotta be comfortable with being in tight quarters with a close-knit family, so, yeah. Now that, that reminds me, we're gonna be doing little video documentaries, like, twice every week or once a day, so you gotta be comfortable on camera. We did this last year with our Red Sea crew. We had, we started with five young adults. Um, and at the very end, we ended up with three. I have a playlist right here where you can go watch all the videos, how we made the selections, what we did for four or five weeks, all the exciting things we did, how it went down. And uh, so go check that out. Once we narrow it down and watch all your videos, we're gonna give you Zoom calls. We'll talk to you, tell you more about what we expect and we can get to know each other a little better and then we'll make some decisions over the next few weeks. So we're so excited. Just to be clear, You'll only get a Zoom call if you make the final cut. We're not calling everybody with Zoom calls, just Sorry. the people that make the final cut. And remember how to do it. 60 second video on your Instagram account, tag Sailing Zatara. Yep. That way it shows up on our Instagram account. And uh, check out the videos from the past where we did this before. We're looking forward to the 2023 Med Sea Crew and all the excitement that's gonna be. And we're looking forward to your videos. Be wild, be crazy. We want wild and crazy people. We don't want a bunch of sticks and prudes out here. So don't, if you're sticking a prude, just go plant yourself in a garden somewhere and don't plant yourself out here. Hey, we can't say that on YouTube. It's, we can't say that on YouTube? Okay. No. Oh, no, just, oh, we're canceled. All right. All right okay, guys. go make your videos and tag us. And uh, how about let's go? Let's, let's go. go! Last time we got over 200 video applications. After narrowing it down, we did about two dozen Zoom calls and made our final decisions and then gave them the good news. You're coming to the the five of them arrived in Egypt, and then we showed them boat life for the next four weeks. We went on a three-day non-stop sail to Saudi Arabia and spent a couple weeks there, then sailed to Jordan and spent a couple of weeks there. After a month together living on a boat, exploring new places, and learning what boat life with us looks like, our new friends went back home in mid-November, but took with them new memories and hopefully grand tales of Red Sea adventures. After they returned home, I asked some of them to send us a short video about how it feels to be back on land. I made it, landed in Chicago, snow was falling, Christmas music was playing, I jumped right into the holidays. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm very, very, very grateful that I got the opportunity to sail with Sailing Zatara. Really, really happy that the Whitakers introduced me to boat life. Really the only thing I really missed about land was just everyone. I missed the people that I love my family and friends, and I'm really glad that I'm back and I got to see them. Adjusting to land life has been difficult. Although it has been very nice to eat croquette and stroke waffles and go cycling on my little bike, I am definitely ready to get back to the water as soon as I can. On the trip, I set out for one, uh, learning how to sail, do a lot of scuba diving, kiting, adventures, which I 
accomplished, but then also I wanted to take this six week month getaway to do a lot of self reflection, what, what I want out of life, how I want my next couple years to play out, and I think I got a pretty clear picture of that. I missed everything about boat life very quickly. I miss everything else about boat life. I miss traveling, I miss the people, I miss not knowing like what's next, the adventure. If you're not spontaneous and you like to plan things out, it's maybe not for you. Staring at the edge of the water, as long as I can remember, never really knowing why. Every road I take, every true I take. Every road leads back to the place I know where I cannot go. What is wrong with me? I feel like Moana, basically. I want to go back to the water. No matter how hard I try, every trail I take. Every I got out of the airport and I set foot in my home and I had a little freak out because everything was so stable. Like the ground wasn't lightly rocking and I knew there was no water beneath me. The thing I'm gonna miss most about the trip is definitely Keith. We developed uh, an unbreakable bond over the trip. Um, some have called it best friends. Uh, I don't really know how I feel about that term, but Keith kind of labeled it that, so I've kind of just been letting him run with that. Keith, you always have a special place in my heart, and I know your heart is a circle, and I'm right there in the middle. <laughs> With that, I wanna say I'm very happy to have been a part of this experience. So happy with all the life lessons and the way it opened my mind to all kinds of stuff. Thank you so, so, so much, Sailing Zatara, Renee, Keith, Jack, Finn, Kate. It was an amazing trip, one that I will never ever forget. I've made so many memories, best month of my life. You guys have inspired me and motivated me to get out there and travel and see the world. And I'm just, I'm so excited for the future. I'll see you guys out on the water. For the last time, we'll see you out there on the water. Let's go. Okay guys, now go make your video. Post it on your Instagram feed and tag Sailing Zatara. And come back here next Thursday for a full episode. Don't forget to also hop over to Finn's YouTube channel as well to see sailing life from a 16 year old's perspective. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Hey oh, guys, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Hey, here we go. One, two, three. Okay. Hey, guys. hey guys, welcome to this week's episode. So you need to make a 60 second. <laughs> I didn't know what to say, okay? If you ever want to do anything different with your life, come along. <laughs> what? Are you doing? Tell me what to say. If you want to do anything different. <coughs> if you want to do anything different, grab a pistol, shoot your wife. That's what I'm saying. <laughs>